hello everybody in this video we are going to create a rope system for our game and we are going to create a rope so for creating rope we need some uh, sprites before so i just bring this weight image also i bring this chain image so you can bring these uh, assets from google uh, you can search and you can get your own assets it's up to you and then we can use something for hanging purpose so i think we can use i think we can use this i don't know where i just put it that yeah actually here it is so gems and these things so here we have a lot of things and we can just add some shield maybe or rounded thing so i will just add this circle variation yeah this is good so we can place it here and with this we will create our chain system okay so this is the main hanger uh, where our rope will be hanged here okay so um, as per the size of our player we have to arrange this um, rope system so I think we should add it here, uh, something here, and yeah, here it is good, I think. And then uh, we can uh, name it, and this will be the uh, main um, main robe, robe top, okay? You can name it whatever you want. Uh, now we will create our chain uh, system so also for this uh, layer we will add six layer maybe okay so six or seven layer i think seven layer will be fine so now we can bring our surprise i will just drag drop this chain and uh, this chain is too big so we will make it small uh, like this and when we are happy with this and actually we will make it little bit big okay a little bit bigger and we will make this thing uh, bigger as well okay so now we can just add this uh, sprite uh, uh, at this place and now we will uh, duplicate it and uh, we will create our chain so uh, first of all first of all for this uh, chain actually main chain we will name it main chain okay or just chain okay so this will be our chain and we will hold other objects inside this chain so this is the link one okay so we can name it link one maybe and for this link one we will add specific tag uh, in next uh, video uh, if we want to hang our player with the rope okay so that feature we will also learn how we can do that so now we will add this link inside the chain and then we will duplicate this link uh, two or three times whatever you want and then we can arrange these links uh, like this okay and then make it like this and we will make it like this and we will make it like this okay so that's nice uh, and in the end we will just add the weight for our robe okay so for weight this is the weight sprite so i just bring this sprite and we will make it six as well and for this links as well we will use the layer six and uh, for chain we have added salmon layer okay so that's nice uh, for this weight we will also add this weight inside the chain and for these links i will just rename these links as a link 2 and link 3 and then we will add it link 4 link 5 and that's it uh, now we will select our weight and we'll make weight to something reasonable and when we are happy with the weight we can arrange the weight at the point where we want and for weight we will make its layer 5 so that it will be a nice uh, respond okay so yeah that's fine 
now we will add some components so first of all for chain we need a rigid body 2d so we will add rigid body 2d but for rigid body type we will make it static because we don't to uh, add gravity and any other thing we want this thing static here okay also we will add one another component which will be distance joint 2d distance joint 2d okay this is very important so uh, this is a important component so it will join these objects uh, uh, with it and uh, if we you know, for example add some uh, rigid body to this uh, static um, uh, point it will uh, just act as a uh, rope okay so for example if we select weight and if we add rigid body 2d to to the weight and if we select chain and if we add weight here then it will act as a rope in our environment okay and definitely uh, it will not work uh, until we uh, didn't stroke it and you can see actually he it is uh, hanging like this okay like rope but you can see that uh, there is no connection between this and the uh, main rope uh, itself so for the connection uh, we have to create this chain so when it will move the chain will also move along with it okay so this is very important so moving further if we will add some components on uh, uh, weight uh, actually uh, for weight we can add uh, only the uh, this uh, uh, rigid body uh, and for the other uh, co uh, components which are the links actually uh, for that we can uh, definitely <coughs> add uh, colliders and uh, as well as we will add rigid bodies and uh, also some more components so uh, for these links we will select all the links and uh, here we will add a rigid body 2d and also we will add capsule collider because capsule collider 2d will work absolutely nice you can see it has a very nice colliders now and we can trigger these colliders actually so uh, we will create a functionality where our player can connect with any uh, collider and then uh, he will on the jumping he will uh, just disconnect it to that collider okay so we will create that functionality later on so now we have uh, added these <coughs> uh, um, uh, colliders after that we will also add a component which is a uh, hinge joint 2d okay so when we will add hinge joint you can see various nodes here okay and for each joint if we see the link one you will see a node here okay and this node actually should be in the bottom of the uh, hinge okay otherwise it will create some problems I will show you that so now you can see that we have a chain and uh, chain uh, I just have added the weight and um, we will not add the weight actually uh, here in the chain and uh, for the links what we will do when we will select the link you can see that in hinge joint 2d we have a option of rigid body so for link 1 we will connect link 2 like this for link 2 we will add link 3 for link 3 we will add link 4 for link 4 we will add link 5 for link 5 we will add weight here okay and for the chain we will add link 1 here okay and uh, also uh, actually uh, yeah, I just uh, make a for mistake here I will show you that okay so the mistake we are uh, making is that uh, here in chain we will add weight actually okay the main chain should hold the weight itself but for the uh, for the link one you can see now that link one is not uh, connected with any other object 
so for link one we already have hint join but we are linking it with link two okay so we don't have any parent for link one itself so we will add one more hint join to the and in this hint join to the we will add chain over here okay so now what will happen that we will have two uh, links and if we move to link one you can see that we have this link uh, this is the uh, for this upper body and the other link is for lower body if you play the game you will see a wrong behavior uh, of our rope so if you see you can see uh, although uh, that is moving well but uh, if we uh, drag it uh, towards front uh, for that we don't have any box collider I will just add a box collider on this just for testing purpose and uh, here we will add a uh, box collider maybe uh, 2d and uh, now if we play the game you will see that if we uh, if we collide with this rope you will see nice behavior of rope but it is not too much smooth that we want okay so for smoothness and making it uh, quite good uh, what we can do we want to adjust the anchors of each node okay so if we select link 5 you can see that it has an anchor in the middle so we have to move this anchor point to bottom okay so here you will see a offset so if we move the offset to y-axis you can see that we can move the anchor point okay similarly for the link 4 we will move the anchor towards uh, bottom and this is the point also for the link 3 we will move uh, it in the bottom so for a better and smooth result and for this we will move it here and for link 1 uh, we will move it this hint which is connected with the link 2 we will move it here and the other link which is connected with the top chain we will move it upward like this maybe okay so now if we move our rope it will be very smooth and uh, we will uh, our rope is uh, actually now completed okay you can see nice rope behavior and uh, definitely if we uh, for uh, because i just uh, trigger the links section so if we i just uh, bring it uh, the tr uh, trigger uh, just uh, remove the trigger you will see that if we jump on the rope uh, it will just float uh, it will just swing uh, like a nice rope here okay you can see it's swinging although we need this rope a little bit bigger I think so uh, for bigger uh, thing we can just select the chain and we can make it bigger as well okay and definitely uh, like this as well and when we are happy with the final result we can move it uh, like this maybe okay and definitely you can finalize the things and you can make it better and better as per your need also this weight didn't look nice so we can remove this weight as well so in this video we have successfully created a rope for our game and in next video i will show you that how our player can connect with this rope and then he can jump uh, to the next uh, frame platform okay so let's meet in next video goodbye